Okay, you guys, I think I mentioned in one of my videos previously, I'm going to try to make more videos uh, when I'm on site so I can help people out, get more content on the channel up, uh, slightly better content, hopefully. This is one of those videos. Try not to make it too long. Give you a general um, discussion about using a drum snake made by Rigid General or someone like that. You can actually rent one in, for your house depending upon what you're cleaning out. Um, let's say you gotta clean out the lateral going to the main. It keeps getting clogged on you. Hopefully you gotta clean out somewhere where you can snake it. Um, you might have to pull the toilet. Let's hope not. <laughs> um, usually, generally for a bathtub, I like to use quarter inch. Because I don't know what's in the wall, how brittle it is. Uh, for the kitchen, 5 16 to 3 8 depending upon mostly 5 16 I prefer. And quarter inch is a little too soft. Doesn't get too clogged very good. 3 8 gets too clogged, but if you got a 2 inch trap that ties in somewhere, that 3 8 could be difficult to get to. Unless it's used a lot and get worn, it gets more flexible. Your snake shouldn't have, or your refill in the drum shouldn't have any kinks in it, hopefully. Hopefully somebody's keeping it clean and oiled. So that should be done on a regular basis, especially if you're a maintenance person. Um, they'll do that, hopefully, where you might rent it from. Home Depot, Lowe's, whoever uh, allows you to rent the stuff. Okay, um, for a main going outside, half inch uh, bigger. <laughs> Could be up to seven eighths, but those are pretty big. They're 100 foot long, and they're very heavy. You're talking about 300 pounds. Takes two strong guys to handle it. It was me and two other techs trying to deal with one snake like that one day, a little drain. And we barely got it up and down from the truck. So that's not something I use my And they're also extremely dangerous. The heavier the snake, the thicker the snake, it can wrap around your arm. Um, if you don't turn it off quickly, or the person with you isn't experienced enough to turn it off. So you got to be careful. I also recently bought a nice set of gloves. They're made for welding, but I'm using them for snake, and they work really good. So I'll put that video up when I get a chance. Uh, I use it only once so far. It will work excellent. You're going to actually see me with those gloves in this video. They're actually welding gloves because... The rigid gloves I got, I lent them out to one guy that were new, he destroyed them. <laughs> he was doing his main or his ladder going to the main and he actually destroyed the gloves. Um, I tried using them, I actually got an infection in my hand. So I went to get a better set of gloves and I used a certain kind of oil. I'll explain that to you guys later. Let's try not to make the video too long, but I'm just giving you a general idea what you're going to deal with and what size snakes you're using in different places. So you have a generalized idea. They also make hand snakes that you wind up. Yeah, God. They might be good for bathroom sink. They might get a tub clog out. But the idea is not to, to wait till the, the water's standing and it's totally clogged. You're trying to get someone there before it's totally clogged. Okay, I think I made a video of 10 plumbing tricks and I, I give some um, ideas there. You guys might want to take a look at that video. I'll put it in the link below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Any questions, just ask. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hey, good. Got a snake a drain. And uh, they're not always easy. So if, if we can't get through, we're going to try uh, a couple of different tricks. First thing we're going to do is actually bend the head a little bit so we can get it to make a turn. Sometimes you don't want to make a turn in the trap. That's where the trap is at right now. So I got to get it past there. It so just got past there. And it's going down. I can feel it. The water is draining right now. So we we got the clog here. Pretty sure it was here. It was just right at the trap. If I couldn't get through the trap, I would have actually put the drill in reverse and pushed it through. Because sometimes going forward doesn't get it through. You have to go in reverse, but you can still push the stank through the forward. So that's just what I want you guys to see today. So all that is simple trick. And it looks like it was here. Pretty much what we see there. Here, I probably pushed the bulk of it down the drain. Turn it off.